Okay, tonight I will be showing you how to build metal models. Um, for all of you who have played Warhammer for years and years and years, this probably won't help you because when we started, almost everything was metal. I mean, tanks weren't metal, but mo but a lot of their bits were. Um, when I started, Dire Avengers had were guardians with metal heads. <coughs> um, everything was everything was metal back then. So um, <coughs> what I'm going to be showing you today is the zoanthrope. Um, this is the first zoanthrope that I built just now for Will, and I'm going to be showing you as I build the second one. Um, if you've tried and failed to reasonably build metal models, hopefully this will be useful to you. Um, if you play armies like Tyranids or Eldar that have quite a few metal models, then this will also be very useful. Um, for those of you who have never tried to build a metal model, especially a large one like a monstrous creature, um, the problems you're going to encounter are that nothing will stay together, and that the weight of it will make it fall apart. So, um, I'll show you a few tips and tricks to put them together. The first step to constructing a metal model is to open the package. Um, as you can see, I've already done that here. Um, maybe I can make another video later about opening the package. Um, of course I'm joking. Um, so, this zoanthrope here comes in a few different pieces. Okay, so first of all, it's got its base with these here in the bottom of it. Now, what you're going to want to do is decide where you want this to be, where you want the zoanthrope to be on the base. I put this one kind of far back because I know the zoanthrope is top heavy. If I put him kind of in the middle, um, then it would just fall over. So I'm probably going to use either this hole here or this hole here. Okay, so if you don't own a pin bias like me at the moment, mine's not really in state. So you just put an X-Acto knife in there and spin it around. If you look at the other side, um, it'll start coming through there. Then you basically just spin it around, flip it over, spin it around some more, get it all cleaned out, and there you go. This guy was right in there to keep your model in place, but you've got a few problems. One, it doesn't go down all the way. If you look, it actually sticks out past the bottom and will actually stop it from going in all the way because it'll hit the table. So um, these are some of the many problems you'll encounter with metal models. Um, the first being that you have all these pieces everywhere. These are called flashing. Um, these are really annoying, especially on metal models because um, a lot of them are really short and hard to get off. Um, they, don't, they don't just get shaved off as easily. And they're all over the place. So um, clean all those off with an X-Acto knife and clippers. It's going to take you a little while. Um, make adjustments like with this here. I'm going to take some end cutters and just cut about a quarter of that off so that it'll go in the base nicely. Um, and before you actually start building your model, um, this is what you're going to want to do. You want to take your model, all of your pieces, and rinse them really well with soap and water, uh, which I'm going to go do now. Okay, so you might be asking why on earth I'm washing my models. Um, with metal models particularly, um, since they're so hard to glue together, um, the surfaces are really smooth, um, uh, what you're doing when you wash them is getting off the mold release. Mold release is basically just what they put on them to help them not stick to the mold. Um, and of course, the purpose of mold release, making it not stick to the mold, is that it does not stick to the mold. Um, that also means that they don't stick to each other. Um, they clean most of it off, but you're never going to get all of it. And especially in the past maybe four or five years, I've noticed it's... Um, it seems like they're getting less and less of it off. So take your time, clean off the models, and um, just go through, clean off this flashing. I'm going to go ahead and crop this. It's not real, it doesn't really have to be exact. Um, so start off with these metal models by gluing the piece that really holds them on, assuming it's not like a pair of legs. If it's something that can attach to the base before, without really affecting its pose, then go ahead and glue this 
the ba the part to the base. Um, now, there's a few things you got to do when you glue together metal models. Um, one is you have to. I would definitely recommend using green stuff or gray stuff. I use gray stuff. I like it better. Um, and the other thing is that you oftentimes want to pin vise the models. And I'm just going to put it in this hole. Okay. Kind of jam it in there. And then just hold it from falling out when you put this in. And jam that in there. Okay, now, although this is in, it's certainly not going to stay by itself. So get some glue. You need, again, you need super glue, not plastic glue. Um, and just so you know, this is what I glued together the first Zoanthrope with. And this is the crappiest glue I've ever seen in my life. So I picked up some crazy glue. This stuff actually works pretty well. Um, so I don't have time to get some zap. I, I typically use zap glue, but... So even crappy, crappy glue can glue, to glue together metal models. It's just a lot harder. Just put some glue on there, push it on nice and tight. Hold it for a few seconds. Um, this is gonna, I'm gonna let this harden, dry really well. And I'm gonna work on the rest of the model. Yeah, with metal models, you always wanna make sure everything's completely ready to assemble before you put more pieces on it. Um, <clears throat> this is the next technique. This is a very important technique to know when doing metal models. This is called scoring. Basically what you do, and this is the flat surface I'm putting things on, you basically go across it with a razor and you just cut it the crap up. Um, go from different angles, make some like cross hatches on there all over the place. You just want to cut it up completely. And of course the reason you do this is because that surface is so smooth that nothing's going to stick to it. And you need to create a rough surface that the glue can stick to. And then um, get your other side ready. And you're going to do the same thing to that. And then take a little bit of gray stuff. Make sure you don't use so much that it like oozes out the sides. Um, but the gray, putting the, the gray stuff in here, the modeling putty, will definitely help with... Um, most metal models will have huge gaps in them, too, so this helps get rid of that at the same time. Okay, so just put some on there. Some glue. <clears throat> and go ahead and put the piece on. And there you go. And um, I'll go ahead and do the rest of this really quick. Okay, so I glued on, you know, this main piece, and then these little claw arms just go right on top of those, so those are on here drying. Um, this bait main piece is almost done. Um, the only, and uh, this, as you can see, just goes, it'll just go straight on top of here. Just like so. Um, of course, it's a metal model, so nothing lines up right. Uh, this piece is on both of them has been way too big for the hole on the other piece, so you're going to have to shave that down. Um, then all that will be left is these two pieces here. These just go uh, down here on the model on both sides. Uh, just, just put them on the other one here if you see. So I'll be right back. Okay, and when you're building these things, don't be afraid to lean them up against other models or, or other things to keep them from falling over or falling apart while they're while they're hardening. Um, so this is all done now. And uh, pretty much all that's left is to put on those two little back pieces. So I'm just going to end this here. Um, so quickly to go over everything again. Um, you want to make sure that you wash the model, clean up all the flashing, um, score it, possibly pin vise it, Use some green stuff and some glue and um, build it one step at a time. So that is building metal models and I will see you later.